this tribal hamlet in Korda district of Odisha is what Muna calls home. His family ekes out a basic living from tending to their small rice farm. Meals depend on what's growing in and around their homestead. Muna's mother gathers leaves from a nearby shrub and cooks them. Along with a small bowl of rice that's been soaked in water overnight. Muna is privileged to go to a big city school and represent Team India in rugby. मैं भी बहुत खुश हुआ क्योंकि मेरा फर्स्ट टाइम था बाहर जाने के लिए 2010 से मैंने सीरियन में एंट्री किया तो अभी भी मैं सीनियर में खेल रहा हूं मुनस टाइम इन कलिंगा इंस्टीट्यूट इज हेल्प्ड हिम नॉट जस्ट इंप्रूव हिज गेम एंड होन हिज स्किल्स इट्स आल्सो हेल्प्ड बूस्ट हिज फिजिकल स्ट्रेंथ ही इज जस्ट वन ऑफ द थाउजेंड्स हु आर फेड न्यूट्रिशनली रिच फूड प्रिपेयर्ड फ्रेश एवरी डे बाय द मेगा किचंस ऑफ कलिंगा इंस्टीट्यूट Four, five. Okay, one leg, one foot, two. Under leg. On the field, Muna's rugby skills have made him a valued player, not just on the Kalinga Institute team, but on the national team representing India. Yes. Front, back. Front. Five, six, seven, eight. Rugby is a game of strength and focus and Muna shines amongst his teammates. Go! Bind! Set! 1 2 3 1 2 As he powers across the field, it doesn't look like this young man hails from one of the most nutritionally deprived communities of India. Amongst those eating is Muna Murmu, a senior at the Kalinga Institute and one of the school's top sporting heroes. Abhi hum log jo kar rahe hai ye complex doodh ke sath. Iske baad hum log practice jaate hain. To ye doodh aur complex khana se hum log ko thoda energy milta hai. Thoda sa slide karte hain aur practice ke liye aur contributing Muna's formative years have been spent at the Kalinga Institute and this classroom is his bridge to a better future. Today he's conversant in languages like Oriya, Hindi, and English. But that's not how he was when he first joined. He was like thousands of children who join each year, knowing no other language than that spoken in one of the 62 odd tribes across Odisha. The kitchen's nutritious food was one of the draws that attracted children like Mandakini and Muna to the school. घर में तो इतना अच्छा खाना नहीं मिल रहा था और जब किस में गया तो किस से मेरे को अच्छा खाना मिला ब्रेकफास्ट से लेकर पूरा लंच तक डिनर तक क्योंकि घर का राइस तो वाटर राइस खाते थे बस वाटर राइस हर टाइम घर में तो कभी कभी खाते थे और कोई कोई दिन तो ऐसे ही तो दिन में तो भूख में रह जाता है रात को खाते थे एज मेनी गर्ल्स लाइक हर आर मैरिड ऑफ इन देयर टीन एज ईयर्स But at this school, parents are often willing to forego custom since their children won't just receive schooling, but three full meals a day. Today, approximately 60% of the student body comprises of girls. Initially it was too difficult. We had convinced their parents in many ways. Slowly slowly their parents could get information, they are convinced that means even if they are illiterate live with superstition they also want their children should be imparted quality education every day the school aims to live up to the promise made to each child's family but when creating this home away from home involves mega numbers it means not just cooking on a massive scale but also planning
The Kalinga Institute of Social Sciences caters to a dishes indigenous tribal communities. Many too poor to eat the variety of produce that's coming into the kitchens today. Recently, the Kalinga Institute was conferred with special consultative status by the United Nations. International recognition aside, the Kalinga Institute's numbers speak for themselves. Not only does it have massive enrollment, its dropout rate too is almost nil. Stay here two months at a stretch, but everybody comes back. Here dropout is almost zero. One of the big draws is the food. In the kitchens, another mega meal is being prepared, this time for dinner. Unlike lunch, dinner is usually purely vegetarian, and quantities tend to be lesser than the volumes prepared in the day. The consumption is 4,200 kilograms of rice in the morning. In the nights, it is a slightly less, 4,000 kilograms. Add to that, about morning, we have about 24 to 26 100 kilograms of lintel, that is arhar dal or two dal, right? And the nights, it is about 2,000 kilograms. Add to that, about morning, about 1,600 kilos of potatoes, and in night, also 1,600 kilograms of potatoes. And vegetables, around 23 to 24 quintal, or you call it 2,300 kilograms or 2,400 kilograms of vegetables, both types of that. Between 3 and 7 p.m., this kitchen will be a buzz with the final meal preparation of the day. As evening falls on the Kalinga Institute campus, dinner service begins, drawing the immense community together once again. Volunteers take to their stations, doling out pailfuls of rice and curry. The children have had a long day that for many started at 5 a.m. Children who are now out of their uniforms appear relaxed. For Muna, it's been a long day that's finally winding down. Muna joins his schoolmates in this massive crowd of diners. As they fill up on a wholesome meal, there's no telling what tomorrow might bring for these children the heights they may reach, the leaders they may become, and the dreams they may transform into reality.